What's up guys, it's Will back again, and today we're here to talk about a very exciting statue, figure, whatever you want to call it, something from Queen Studios that I've been waiting for for a long time, and if anyone's been around the collecting game for a while, you know, I've commented on Queen Studios posts quite a bit saying, where's Loki, where's Loki, is Loki coming, where's Loki, well they dropped a bust, I was like, yeah, that looks really, really good, but it's $4,000. I don't really like busts. I'm not a big bust guy. Then I was like, hey, Queen Studios hit me up with a quarter scale, third scale Loki statue, and you know that I'm in, especially Avengers. What did they do? They dropped the heat, boys. They dropped the heat. And now we got a pre-order tomorrow for quarter scale Avengers Loki statue from Queen Studios. With that said, tonight what I want to do is take a look at it. So, because this thing is beautiful, guys. It seriously is. So before we get too deep into it, let's just say the price as of now that Queen Studios has thrown out there is $1,140. It has polystone, it has fabric clothing, it has wool hair that's rooted, it has genuine leather, it has a light up base. It's only a license in these uh, countries, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Macau, South Korea, Europe, C, and Japan. Not all countries, but in these areas, let's just say that. Let's do, I'm not good with geography, but you get the idea. We'll say these areas, right? So with that said, this thing has rooted hair, it has real leather. It has a light-up base. It's really cool. Guys, this sculpt is fire. I don't care what anyone says, bro. This sculpt looks really, really good. And this is the Loki that I've been waiting for. Because, yeah, the bus looked incredible. But at the same time, I'm not really big a bus guy. You know, I'm not, I'm not the biggest bus guy. I really like statues. I prefer them. Would I get a bust? Maybe if it were, you know, reasonably priced. Sure. But 4K, I, there's just a lot of stuff I can get for 4K. I can get four of these for one bust. To me choice is simple i think they nailed the sculpt i think they nailed the smirk i think they nailed the expression they nailed the personality of loki in the avengers film which of course is my favorite iteration because i think it's loki's best appearance i think it's where he gets the most time to shine in terms of like other than his show obviously but being true devious you know uh villainous like uh dynamic loki i really like that guys looking at the statue Man, I just think they nailed it. I just, I just think they nailed this. I mean, the sculpt isn't 100, 100%. It's like, I'd say like it's a 90. It's a 90%, but it looks really good. And I'm more than happy with it. And again, I just think if they're going to do this in statue form, you got to go all out for it. So some people I've heard a little bit complaining about the price of 1140. I think that's fine. I mean, look, this thing has real fabric materials. It's very much mixed media piece. It has rooted hair. I mean, it has a light up base. It has a lot going on with it, right? I paid 1200 for Balder. Balder was more expensive than this. And he has all, um, he's all sculpted. All sculpted, right? Didn't have any of the rooted hair, real genuine leather, fabric materials. Like that's gonna cost a little bit more. So I think they nailed the outfit too. I really like how this looks. I think it really looks devious and it looks, I don't know, badass. This is like, this is Loki's casual overthrow outfit this is him in avengers where he's sort of you know going to take over the avengers this is the outfit he wears like 80 percent of the movie to be honest he's king loki like 20 percent of the time he's mostly in this outfit which i really like because you don't see this one as much hot toys has never made him in this outfit right so i like seeing the queen studios did something a little bit different again i think they nailed the head sculpt the hair might take a little work out of the box so i might have to style it just a little bit but from certain angles man this thing looks incredible this is clearly from the scene when he arrives on earth so shows up looking for the tesseract says hey and Anne has no quarrel with the boot i uh, burden with glorious purpose all that good stuff right i think they nailed this um so i really man i just think this sculpt is really great and we look at it under different lighting lighting circumstances circumstances this is what it's most often going to look like you're not really going to have a blue light on it most of the time right this is what it's going to look like in most displays and damn does it look good wow guys it's kind of like it's interesting though with the outfit like they they kind of gave loki like he still has the Avengers look, but it's almost like a little bit of Dark World mix. It's like a hybrid. It's like a little bit Dark World, a little bit of the Avengers outfit. It doesn't seem like it's perfectly one-to-one -one accurate, but I still think it's nailed enough to be, ha you're going to be happy with it. I think the pose is cool. The arm down by the side, it's a very simple museum character pose, if you call it. Uh, you don't really need much more than that, I don't feel like. I don't feel like you need much more than that. I think Loki looks devious. He's standing there with the scepter. He looks incredible. I think this is what you want. And like I said, that's the lighting condition that you're probably most likely going to see more often than not. Those are the lighting conditions you're going to have it uh, under most of the time. And it looks great, man. It looks great. The hair might even be a little too long, honestly. Might even be a little too long, but they can correct that. They can correct that over time. Um, 
I think it looks really cool, man. And it's not, it's not like a huge space heater too. It's not like this is going to take up a huge amount of real estate. Like you're standing straight up and down, like, you know, on a simple base. I don't think this is going to kill your, your collection space in terms of space or anything like that. So we don't know the addition size yet. It's probably going to be based on the number of pre-orders they get, which is totally fine. But $1,140, I'm fine with that. I seriously am. I think that's fine. I think that's actually a good price. I think that's more than fair. Because like I said, I've paid more for statues from Prime 1 that don't even have uh, mixed media in them. Though they definitely don't have rooted hair. So I, um, I'm i very happy with this. I think they absolutely nailed it. I really couldn't have asked for more. So this goes up for pre-order actually tomorrow. So if you're watching this video, I don't know when you'll be watching it, but it goes up for pre-order. What's today? The 29th. So it goes up the 30th of March for pre-order, right? So I, dude, I just can't say enough good things about it. I think the scepter looks really good. The scepter does not light up from what I can see. I know the base lights up, but I don't know if the scepter lights up. Uh, I couldn't find anything in here that said it did. Um, so LED light up, lighting mimic, the exact lighting is seen in Marvel Studio Avengers. Uh, yeah, the base, the base lights up. So I don't know if the scepter lights up. I don't, I don't think it does. So it, I think it would say so. But still, even if it doesn't, it still looks pretty cool, man. It does, in this photo, it looks like it's lit up. So I don't know, maybe it does. Maybe it does, maybe I'm wrong. But uh, I still am super happy with this. I'm super happy with this. And I think, you know, for Loki fans out there, this is going to be a must have. This is the statue I've been waiting all this time for. This is the piece that I've been just, you know, anticipating more than anything that I never was sure if I was going to get or not. I know John had told me a couple of times from Queen Studios saying like, hey, we're doing the bus. We're thinking about doing a statue, but we're not sure. And then, you know, I wasn't sure. So, John. Bravo to you, man. Clearly, you threw me a bone on this one because you had put out that long list of statues. You threw Loki out there first. Thank you so much, John. Seriously, you have no idea how much this piece means to me and the Loki fans out there. Because you just, you know, there's a sideshow premium format. It's okay. It's really not that good. It doesn't even hold a candle to this piece. It's nothing even close. And John's given us a Loki bus and this Loki statue now Queen Studios has, right? So like I said, I'm super thrilled with how this turned out. I... You know, yeah, the scalp is not 100. I think it's like an 85 or a 90, but it's good enough to the point where I think you're going to be really happy with this if it comes anywhere close to this prototype. But yeah, I just think they nailed it in every respect. Um, you know, uh, everything about it, man, just is, it screams Loki to me. It reminds me of the 2012 Avengers, which is really what I care about. So to me, this is definitely a dopo. I don't really pre-order pre much anymore, but for this, I will make the exception because this is Loki and this is the Loki to get I think period. Um, I, you know, I love the hot toys. I'm sure it'll come out great, but will it look this good? Probably not. So to me, I really, like I said, I, you know, I'm just gushing over this piece, but I really cannot say enough good things about it. Seriously, man. Ooh, let me know in the comments what you guys think, man. This piece is bomb. Ah, I cannot wait to get it in hand. It's coming out Q3 of next year. So it's quite a wait. It's about a year and a half wait. So, hey. We're all in this together. We're going to be waiting for a lot of things over the next two years or so. And, you know, I'll probably end up getting this from like spec fiction or something. And uh, we'll see what his price is. But yeah, I can't wait to get this in hand. I'm more than willing to wait for quality. So if Queen Studios delivers this proto level of quality for the final product, I'm going to be absolutely thrilled. Damn, this thing is beautiful. Guys, let me know in the chat, in the uh, comments below, what you think of this piece. For me, I just love the, the, the details, the fabric, the leather. Like the rooted hair, they just really went all out for this. It has polystone on it too. The light up base. Like, I hope the scepter lights up. I'm really just not sure, to be honest. I don't think it does, but we'll see. Um, guys, like I said, let me know in the comments what you think. Peace out. I don't have more, much more to say about this, except if you love Loki, I think you should buy it. I'm going to buy it. But again, it's a lot of money to drop. I totally understand. Maybe you could just stick with the hot toys if you don't love, love Loki like I do. But I'm a Loki fanatic. So that is what it is, guys. Peace out. I'll catch you in the next video.